Time to support. Rath, tell me the rest of your story, please. Why did you have to leave the tribe? The tribe Diviner saw I had a bad omen in the stars. As the chieftain's son, I had to leave to prevent disaster. What disaster? Can't say. But the Diviner did tell me I would know when the time came. He said I was born into this land to stop the burning. A dark flame consuming all. Hmm. At the time, I was less than four, without even the means to survive. I wandered, not knowing right from left. The people of other tribes laughed and ridiculed me. I do not feel the loneliness now as I did then. But sometimes, I remember. I have never felt so alone. I see. That makes sense. When I first met you, I felt like we had something in common. Maybe it was because we both shared the experience of being alone. Hmm. Hmm. Lynn. Yes? You sure it's alright for you to be here? The battle is not over. You're right. But... I don't feel I can leave you. Hmm. When I'm with you, I feel safe. I can sense your... strength. Lynn. Please, Rath. Let me stay here, just for a while. Fine. As you wish. More romance on the battlefield. I'm okay with it this time, because... stuff is happening. Yes. Anything else? Anyone else want to talk? Get out of your system now while you... Well, you still can, yeah. Oh, more talking. Priscilla. Yes, Lord Brother? You should return to Etruria. You should not stay here any longer. What? But, but why? Yeah. Please, don't make me leave. Not after I came all this way to see you again. But there are things I must do. And I don't want you getting involved. Lord Brother... You're not planning something dangerous. Hmm. It's nothing you need to know of. It is something dangerous. There, now more than ever, I cannot be made to leave. If you are to face danger, then let me face it by your side. You're not listening, Priscilla. You were sent to Etruria for adoption. You are no longer of House Carnwell. And I am no longer your brother. Lord Brother? How could... Lord Brother? That's always nice. But I think that's it for everybody and their talking. So let's finish this. Lord Hector, are you unarmed? Protect Lord Hector, Knights of Ostia, attack! Yeah, thanks for coming, guys. You are late. Eh, Glebian. Are those guys... Yes, I'm sure of it. They are his wolves. It's true. They are all eerily similar. That reminds me. That man on Valor, Ephidel. Black Fang Sonia, too. Are you saying that you made them all? It is an abomination. A crime against all that is natural. When Nurgle began using morphs to carry out his plans, his power had grown beyond our ability to contain him. After humans, his next target became the essence of dragons. His next target had to be Arcadia. I concealed our paradise behind a curtain of sandstorms. I then hid in the underground ruins and waited for him. I did not hope to defeat him, just to exchange blows. And then draw him into the desert, which would be his end. But Nurgle never showed up, did he? Correct. I have no idea how he managed it, but... He called those siblings through the Dragon's Gate, and now he plans to call a horde of dragons to this land. What do we have to do to stop them? Our last hope is the power of the legendary items. It would take too long for us to gather all of them. I will go to the Shrine of Seals and tell Bramamond everything. We must have his power, no matter the cost. 
that we should go to the Dragon's Gate ahead of you. What? That's a good idea. Even though you cannot harm Nurgle himself, you can certainly do some damage to his troops. If we don't answer Nurgle's invitation soon, we'll continue to send out troops after us. If that's going to happen, we might as well take the fight to him. I won't have Lycia ravaged by any more of his acts. You... You truly are Roland's children. I am old. I did not expect anything to surprise me again, and yet... Lord Athos. It takes the strongest of bonds to alter the course of fate. Go! Go, my youthful friends! Set your sights on Dragon's Gate and keep moving! Elwood, Hexer, where are the legendary items? They're right here. Mine too. I'm sorry. I simply couldn't bring myself to wield it. Neither can I. Elwood said it felt like the old land, moved by itself. A weapon with a wheel of its own. Can I really control a weapon like that? Frankly, I wasn't sure. Let me take them from you for a while. May I? Yes. It's fine, but... Littlewood, Hector, I understand how you both feel. But without these weapons, we won't be able to stop Nurgle. You know that, don't you? Yes. But next I wield it, I won't hesitate. Confidence is just a matter to me. I'll use it when I need to. You'll see, Greybeard. I know. Why'd he take the legendary weapons? They could have been so useful. Oswin. I'm here, Lord Hector. We won't be able to contact Fargus about traveling to Valor till the day after tomorrow. The guards are rotating watches to protect the castle. Lord Hector, for this one night, please get some rest. Who needs rest? Do not talk to me of rest when Ostia needs me. There is something that I need to tell you, or that you need to tell me, isn't there? I can think of nothing, my lord. Stop this foolishness! It's plain that everyone is avoiding me. But you're hide hiding. I know what it is. Lord Hector, you must calm yourself. Say it. I command you. Tell me what has happened. If you don't answer me right here, right now, I will cut you down, you knave. Do as you must. Eh? Hmm. I see. My brother, he's gone, isn't he? Lord Hector. I was sure he was recuperating. That he'd gone somewhere to recover his strength. I thought that was what you were hiding. But you all confess even now. That means... Lord Hector, wait, please. Oh man, I hope one of them doesn't leave. Oh hey, what? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Chapter 31 Guided, Battle Preparations. We received word from Captain Fargus. If we come to Badon, he'll give us passage to the Dread Isle. Well then, let's get going. It would be the best if we outfitted ourselves before setting out. We'll need many supplies for a campaign on Valor. And a castle down here is better stocked than Badon, I'm sure. We can enter the covers and sell the treasures if need be. Hmm. Uh, with the limits, of course. Say, 30,000 gold? That seems a reasonable amount. Come on, I'll lead the way. Horseshoe's castle town is as impressive as ever. Shops and items of all types imaginable. For generations, our ancestors dedicated themselves to a sort of frugal militarism. Nobles and commoners alike stormed the extravagance. Corrupt neither body or mind, they cried. Since the time of Roland, this has been a dominant ideology of Ostia. I have... that... I heard that when Lord Uther first participated in the Lycian court as Archie's Ostia. He gave a scathing indictment of the pure system. Now I understand. His philosophy had its roots in the history of Ostia himself. That's right. Yet, this thinking, it threatens the lifestyles of many of our aristocrats. So some groups view my brother with enmity. 
I must grow wiser so that I can sit at my brother's side and aid him. Of course, my fighting skills are not yet what they should be. But this isn't the place for that kind of talk. We've got to get going. Come on! Yes, I will go with you. 